Hi, you're watching Marshall Reader. The story begins inside an apartment, where the MC is a cultured man and playing his game. After finishing the boss, his teammates thanks him and at the same time was friendly to him. But he could only sigh as he wish if only he was this popular in real life too. Since the sense of accomplishment he gets from the game vanishes the moment he returned to reality. Our main character is named Wazi, just like the name of the character from a comic he really like. He is weak and cowardly, he is not tall, not rich, and he is not good at studying. Just another average college student, but he also wanted to be the center of attention. If only leveling up in real life was possible, he could be popular with the ladies now. But his fantasies was interrupted by someone messaging him, so he checks it who it was. And it turns out, it was from the newbie mage earlier who he teamed up with, as she was asking to meet up. This instantly made him smile but also he wonders if it could just be an old man, but he must look at the bright side, and he doesn't have money or looks, so there's no need for him to be worried over being catfished, and if he does not want to be alone forever, he must make a move eventually, as he trembles to reply, but he still did it, then the day has come to meet up with his date, so he went out and as he stand in front of a pedestrian lane waiting for it to turn green, he was in a deep thought as he was nervous and excited at the same time, the closer he gets, the faster his heart beats. While this made him think when he was bullied in school, he wants to run, but he also wants to be brave, as he couldn't control his excitement any longer. While thinking how his date will turn out to be, he starts to walk, but Truck Cohen was on his duty that day, and smelled someone that needs an isekai. So as soon as he was in the middle of the street, Truck Cohen did his job. Lying on the floor Wazi regrets not experiencing life more, but as soon as his consciousness fades away, he wakes up looking at a loading screen, so he asks who is with him. The system talks to him and tells him that he will be reincarnated into a new world, but he finally decides to work on improving himself back then, so he doesn't need a new world. So the system convince him by telling him if he finishes all the mission he will reincarnate back to his original world, therefore he accepts and asks for his mission. But before that, the system advises him to try and get used to his new body first before accepting a mission. As he asks where's his arms and feet, the system just decide to show to him what he is. As soon as he opens his eyes, all he could see from his reflection is a mushroom. He couldn't believe in himself as he wonders why he even turned into a mushroom. In panic he looks around to investigate his surroundings, and he could only see snails chewing, and chewing, and chewing. So he looks up for answers, and he sees a huge game interface in front of him, welcoming him in the brave mainland. He was shocked and stunned as he couldn't even find a word to describe what's happening to him. But surprisingly, the system started talking to him, saying that it understands that it's tough to accept what has happened. But the game has already begun, and they don't have the time for him to explore slowly. So, it will transfer all the information directly into his mind. He stopped spacing out, and before he could respond, information flowed into his brain. Now he knows that this is a world filled with magic and wonders. Although every region of the world is different, they are all known as the Brave Mainland. Long ago, monsters and humans lived in harmony. The monsters with more muscular bodies assisted the humans in all sorts of tasks. And the humans, who had a higher affinity for magic, would use their magic to help the monsters survive and prosper. Back then, monsters and humans lived and learned together and helped one another. Until one day the demon lord named Gollum broke this peace. Gollum was a pinnacle being among the monsters and was seen as a leader by many monsters. It hated that the humans thought of themselves as superior and gathered all the monsters to attack the human cities. To defend against the monsters, humans also gathered their strength, and this gave rise to many guilds that, under the king's order, began exterminating the monsters. Finally, the legends tell how six of the strongest braves gathered together to seal demon lord Gollum. However, because Gollum was still too powerful, the Braves divided its body into six pieces and hid them in six locations, which are in the Castle of Time, Pentachrome Desert, Sunken World, Tempest Grasslands, Source Volcano, and the Land of the Dead. Even after Demon Lord Gollum was sealed, the Brave Mainland could not return to its former state. Monsters and humans could no longer live together in peace. Furthermore, despite Demon Lord Gollum being sealed, his loyal followers continued to roam the lands. They constantly wreaked havoc across the lands, looking for a way to unseal and revive the Demon Lord. The entire Brave Mainland will be destroyed if the Demon Lord is revived. 
That's why he has been reincarnated into this world, to stop Gollum from reviving. Lastly, Gollum's followers have already begun their plans to unseal him, so he doesn't have much time left. If the player has any questions, he may ask them now, so he asks to his understanding if he completes his mission he will get sent back to his original world, to which the system confirmed, but he was angry as he asks the system, if does it really think he is one of the six braves, because to his knowledge he is a fucking mushroom, while he was jumping around in anger he slips. The system asks him politely to not be agitated, and it may take some time to get used to his new body, but it urged him to be quick, since his first mission is about to begin. So he tries to stand up, but couldn't, so it angers him even more, as he begs it to at least turn him into a goblin or skeleton, even if they don't want to give him arms. A slime or spider is fine too, why'd they had to turn him into something so hard to move, as he failed to stand up multiple times, he gives up, while he doubts himself cause how can he beat the demon lord as a mushroom, and was losing hope to go back to his original world. But the system is ruthless, as it doesn't care and notifies him the game will still go on, regardless of if the player is ready or not, and it gives him a mission, stating to survive the designated amount of time and he may choose a reward between harden or limbs. At the same time the countdown started, and the snails hides their presence, then the system tells him that the mission has begun, and he must survive because they are coming, which made him wonder who are they, but his questions was answered immediately by adventurers suddenly appearing in the scene. He finally felt the danger in coming, so instinctively he bounced to the nearest bush to hide, and since he is a monster they could be coming here to kill him, as he watches from afar, behind a tree, while he watches the onslaught happening right before his eyes, as he realized this little children are dangerous, since they brutally kills the snails without remorse and hesitation, but not all of them are savages, as the green snail was picked up by a lovely girl, which made the snail change his perspective on humans but it was too good to be true, as she rips it out from its shell, and putting it on her inventory as she looks for nine more. Meanwhile the main character is now thinking that he didn't feel anything when he played games before, but looking at it from the monster's perspective, the players are the real monsters. Then suddenly out of nowhere, the monsters had a chance to retaliate, as the new bee was knocked out by a snail daddy, a level 3 monster, his dream is to be a biker daddy, although he usually rides around on a skateboard. Snail Daddy is actually more of a family snail. As the main character saw this, he wonders why he can he see its information and level, to which the system answers that this is due to his ability appraisal. At the same time the newbies attacks the Snail Daddy all at once, but he was too strong for them to handle, but another newbie appeared and was a level higher than the Snail Daddy, but he wasn't scared at him and only could see red, so he faced the newbie head on, but his attack were futile since the newbie was well equipped but still he didn't give up, while the main character admires the snail daddy's tenacity and bravery, for the sake of his family he refuses to back down even when faced with such a big disadvantage, in turn this filled his heart with newfound hope as he supports snail daddy with all his heart, but this world does not revolve around friendship and family, as snail daddy was left lying down lifeless, so the newbie ruthlessly ripped him out from its own shell, and claim his price. In turn this made the main character cower as he wonders if will he really be able to survive, while he hopes for someone to rescue him, then a newbie sneakily comes up to him, but to both their surprise, the newbies run for their lives, making him asks why they are afraid of him, to which the system answers that it is to be expected as it suggests the main character to look into his attribute panel, so he did just that, and no wonder those newbies run, a level 5 mushroom monster is basically the strongest thing they'll find here. Then he opens the ability list to see that he has two of them, which are appraisal that allows him to see level and basic information of the target, and second is mushroom bash, and it doesn't even cost any mana points to use, so this made him smirk as he realized that although both are just basic skills, if he combines it with his stats, it is enough for him to dominate the starter village. With newfound confidence he hops actively while laughing and searching for his prey since he already accepts his identity as a monster and has now turned arrogant from his newfound power. After finding his target he immediately used Mushroom Bash and easily knocked out the adventurers, and gained experience points, but the other newbie was smart to run and climb up from a vine, which the main character thought he could easily climb the platform, but he was easily mistaken so he gave up, but his attentions were brought back by the newbie who is now with his crew, but instead of cowering like before, he was thrilled to see more prey to hunt, 
so he activates Mushroom Bash again. The tank received it head on, nullifying his attack. So they decide to get into formation while the Wazi is still recovering his skill, and throws a barrage of pebbles towards him. After receiving quite a handful of damage, the cooldown of his skill is over, so he counterattacks again, but the tank blocks his attack for the second time. Now Glasses has the chance to attack him, so he did, but he dodged it, grazing him only a little. He endured the pain while he is thinking that it is as expected. The strength from weaklings grouping up can overpower even a strong enemy. He has experienced it multiple times in gaming world, but before he could attack again, the group ganged up on him as he collapsed on the ground. After that they celebrate as they were excited in defeating a strong foe, but the girl questions why she hasn't received any experience after defeating it. While the main character is smiling, it is because he was playing dead all along. Any normal monster won't know about this high-class tactic, but he finally got them all to gather up unguarded, and beats them all up. After his victory he levels up, as he feels how wonderful it is and all the injuries and pain have completely disappeared. Now he plans to stay here and ambush the newbies to farm experience. By then he will leave the starter village and easily beat the boss after reaching max level. But he was reminded how cruel this world is, as a lighting was cast upon to him, slightly missing him by a hair's breadth. And three adventurers are now in front of him. All of them are beyond his level, as they are here because of a mission that requiring them to exterminate a monster that is causing problems in the starter village. Now the main character's plan was ruined and now he knows he is screwed. Then the mage follows up his attack, casting magic bullets onto him, but he barely dodge it. He realizes the gap is too much for him to handle, so he decides to use his ultimate technique and run like a wind and activates Mushroom Bash full retreat. While the player was amazed how that was a rare sight, since a brainless low-level mob actually knows when to run away but they don't plan on making the main character escape as the newbie activates his earth cleaver and made a stone wall in the trajectory of the main character, which he injured himself. But before he could even land on the ground the archer launched an arrow piercing him. Now he lies on the ground. Then the system states how disappointed it is, since it thought he was an expert gamer, but he still got one revival coin, so it asks if the player wished to use it, which the main character doesn't have a choice. So he did returning to his full health and gaining a new skill, which he used immediately. As Spore Blast was cast, he used this opportunity to escape, but the adventurers saw his plans and hunts him. While he is running he asks the system how much time does he have left before completing the mission, which it replied that he has three minutes left, so if he lasts another three minutes he can get a reward, so it would greatly increase his survival. But the adventurers caught up to him already, as he wonders how they managed to do that. He soon realized that a prey tracking skill was cast upon him before even making an escape. While he dodges their attack, he knows that this is his last chance, so he refused to die like this, as he cast another spore blast. But his struggle was futile as the prey tracking skill is still on effect, so the archer launched another arrow, piercing him again. Now he entered a critical state, and received a debuff in return. Now lying on the ground, almost at death's door, the countdown started. And before they could launch the final blow, his missions were complete, and suddenly a teleportation magic circle appeared from the sky. At the same time thousands of mushrooms fell from the sky, the mage shouts for them to retreat, but the new bee was more than thrilled to slice the mushroom up, as he was ecstatic that his prey is just falling from the sky for it to be killed by him. But the two adventurers retreat, while the new bee was wondering why they cower, as he called them a coward for retreating but they ignored him since there is an enchantment protecting the starter village, so he won't die anyway, and he would just revive. Therefore they went on their own way, while the new bee was still basking in his own glory, but he soon realized how foolish it was to stay here in the first place, as a large shadow towering his presence, and a level 60 mushroom king appeared, knocking him out instantly, and now that the adventurers are gone, the main character was hoping that they all come to save him, but he was ignored. As his consciousness is fading away a figure appeared. In a later time, he woke up in a dimly lit place. As soon as he turns around he saw a few corpses of mushrooms, while the pig was munching some few of them. Now he assumed the pig murdered them all and it dragged him here to be eaten later. So he decides to do something, but as soon as he tries to get up he notices his lower body was eaten up already. As it was about to come over to him, he plays dead, to wait for an opportunity to run away. Then as it looms over to him, the pig spits out the chewed mushroom and puts it into him. Surprisingly the scraps helps him repair his body, 
and after that the pig decides to take care of him. She even sits down near him and went to sleep. After a while, she wakes up and found out that the main character is gone. Therefore she uses her sniffing abilities to find his whereabout but before she could go on with her hunt, she remembers to put out the fire first. Meanwhile the main character is doing his best to run away from her, since he rather die at the hands of a boss, than being eaten by a pig, but to his surprise she has caught up quite easily. Now he realized no matter how much he jump, he won't be able to outrun her, so he uses his spore blast, but instead of being scared of it, she was delighted, therefore she inhaled it, and made her even more ecstatic. Now with mushroom on her system she runs full power, while the main character asks the system to receive his rewards. As the two option was presented, he thinks that although Harden is good as defensive skill, limbs can attack or run away, and as of right now, obtaining it is more useful. As long as he has arms and legs, his attacks and movement patterns can have more variety, so he decides to choose to get limbs. Therefore he got his rewards, but as soon as he uses it, he noticed how pathetic his struggle was, so he curses at the system instead, but it was too late for him, since the pig has caught up to him, so he accepts his fate and asks her to just finish him off quickly, but she just licked him, therefore he used his appraisal skill, now he knows that it is a level 10 monster, so he wonders how will he ever be able to escape this pig if the level gap between them is so wide, then suddenly the pig notices something suspicious, after realizing what it could be, it tried to convey a message to him, but he couldn't understand. Then the place started to shake, while this was done by something from the outside. So he tries to run, but the pig was ahead of him to escape. As he shout for her to come back, she suddenly realized that she forgets him. So she went back while dodging all the obstacles, and then throws him in the air in order for him to be mounted to her. Afterwards she nimbly dodges the obstacles and makes out of there in time, before it collapses. Then she turns around, from the rubble. There were wild boars standing at the top as it revealed they were the ones who did this. As a wild boar chieftain emerged from the scene, and looks at them menacingly, but she couldn't careless as she turns around to do her own business. While this anger the wild boar, the chieftain orders them to halt their actions, while the ribbon pig and mushroom leaves the scene. While they were traveling, Wazi is thinking that back in the cave it helped him to recover his body, and now it is bringing him to leave together. Now he realized that this piggy doesn't seem to have any ill intention towards him. While she was sniffing her way through the grassland, he asks the system where they are now, to which it informed him that they are currently located at the Crescent Bay, east of the grasslands, and he is 200 kilometers away from the starter village, to which he was surprised to even be here, but he assumed that it must be the teleportation spell when he lost his consciousness, and the piggy used it to bring him here. Suddenly the pig notices an attack incoming so she dodges it, which startled him, but the attack wasn't done as the pig dodges it easily, while he thinks that there are dangers all around in the wilderness, and thanks the piggy's high alertness, then a huge frog revealed itself, as he used the appraisal skill to see that it is level 11, now in front of danger they wait for it to attack, suddenly it attacks again, the pig dodges it but Wazi was caught, therefore the pig throws herself at the frog making it let go of Wazi, and catching his fall, which Wazi appreciates her even more, but suddenly a wind blade was headed to them, which the pig dodged, but the frog wasn't nimble as her, as it was cut in pieces, now their attention is to the one who casted the skill, while it eats the frog, he appraised it, and it turns out to be a level 19 blade mantis, although its health points and defense aren't that good, its attack power is scary, but it suddenly felt their presence, which the pig was on guard the whole time, while Wazi advises her to not be rash, while the mantis was readying his attack, as tension was in the air, unexpectedly a rock appeared, crushing the mantis, but it wasn't a simple rock, since it looks like a mushroom as it absorbed the mantis whole, after that it opens its eyes, while Wazi sees that it is a level 26 boulder mushroom, so they decide to hit and slowly get away from the place, after a while the boulder mushroom retracts as they successfully escaped, after a long journey, they were exhausted, but luckily they found a place to rest with a nice shade, and a great view, as it was safe. Now Wazi can appreciate how beautiful this world is. Then the system tells him that, this world is actually similar to his world in the sense that it also has its own natural laws and ecosystems. Therefore he concludes that a mushroom monster like him is at the bottom of the food chain, and he would have died already if it wasn't for Piggy. But he won't be discouraged just like that. He need to become stronger, and survive. 
so that he can finish his mission and return to his previous world. So he asks System to give him another mission, so he can earn some rewards. Of course the System was happy to serve, and lets him choose between three difficulty, as he proudly states that fortune favors the bold, and considers to take the hard mission. But as soon as he hears the mission requires him to defeat one of the four heavenly generals under the Tempest Grassland, he changes it to an easy mission. Therefore he receive a mission requiring him to collect ten red berry herbs, which he thinks it will be a piece of cake. So he hastily collects the herbs, which surprisingly he collected six of it easily. But unexpectedly, Piggy eats all of it, which made him angry. He knows not to let this slide, since this behavior will become a problem if he lets it be. Therefore he launches attack to teach Piggy a lesson, but as expected his arms couldn't do anything to Piggy, while he was knocked back instead. While Piggy turns around and was happily wiggling her tail as she thought Wazi was playing with her, so she plays with Wazi, making him fly to the air. After that few hours had passed, Wazi and Piggy completed few missions already, such as collecting 30 fruits, which rewards him inventory box, and other collecting missions, making Wazi a level 9 mushroom but was exhausted since while he collected items, Piggy ate them. After laboring all day, he was only able to gain three levels. On the other hand, Piggy goes right to sleep after eating all his mission objectives. As he was about to rest he takes this chance to complete another mission while Piggy is asleep. As the system gave him a mission that requires him to absorb all the collected items, and he will get an exclusive ability in return, which made him more excited, as he thought it would be easy to absorb all the things he collected. And as soon as he takes out everything, Piggy smelled the aroma and wakes up, and was instantly delighted and visibly shaking her tail. But Wazi tells her no, which made her sad. So he gave her one apple, which gained her happiness instantly, as he has few extra, so he can spare some. But as soon as he went for the rock, he now wonders how could he even absorb it. So he asks the system for more information, which he saw the mission wasn't progressing at all. So he asks since he ate already five fruits but it is still at zero. Therefore the system advises him to think carefully about what the mission is asking him to do. As he thinks how could he do it, he remembers how the boulder mushroom did it, and it absorbed the mantis by sitting on it. So it is logical for a mushroom to absorb nutrients through roots. So he contemplates if he really has to do that. In a later time, few items are now dried up, and it turns out that he really did absorb it using his cheeks. After the last item was absorbed he completes the mission and gain 200 experience points, and a new exclusive ability, while he levels up. Looking at his character information, he wonders what is the use of his decompose ability, so the system informs him, that he can now decompose level 1 to 20 monsters, and other objects. After the explanation, he decides to rest first, since he used so much SP absorbing the items, but at least he reached level 10, it was clearly an easy mission but he felt as if he completed a medium difficulty, but it was worth it seeing that it all turned out to be fine. The next day, this time around the system gave him a mission requiring to kill 10 monsters from the area. Now he noticed that the missions are starting to get harder, but him and Piggy are level 10 now. As long as they can find some lower level monsters, they will be fine. Therefore they went on the hunt, while he was thinking that this world is different from an actual game, because the monsters here doesn't respawn in thin air. Suddenly they spotted a level 8 green slime, as they ready themselves, and Wazi attack it nearly killing it. As he was about to deal the final blow, Piggy went and killed the slime. While she was proud of what she did, Wazi was shocked as he shouts at Piggy for a kill steal, and now he couldn't get his mission objective, but to his surprise it still was counted and he received some XP. While he wonders how, Piggy spits out a stone, as he appraised it, and was actually a party stone. When two parties acknowledges each other as a team, it will create the effect of forming a party. Now he realized that it was the weird stone they dug up before, and it actually had such an effect. But Piggy's feeling was hurt, therefore he apologized and he promised to find something delicious to eat as an apology, which made her happy instantly, so she looks for more monster to hunt. Then few hours had passed by, they only have managed to found four slimes after looking around all day. They even had to run whenever they saw anything stronger, so killing 10 monsters isn't going to be easy. But as they were strolling, something attacks them from behind, but Piggy dodges it since her alertness are high, and it turns out it was a level 18 possessed stump, as it attacks them again, which they dodge. 
but now they know that a level 18 monster's attacks are so powerful, and they need to be careful, as he signaled for them to attack simultaneously. But they made a mistake, since they didn't expect that it wouldn't even be hurt, and they even suffered a recoil damage. So he talks to Piggy, but she was dazed because her attack was reflected to her. While he looks at an unfazed enemy, he realized what to do next, as he cast Spore Explosion, so they could run away. After looking around the enemy loses interest and went on its way, but Piggy smelled the aroma of the spore as she plans to inhale it all in one go, but Wazi stopped her before she does that, and instead offer himself so Piggy could still enjoy her daily hit. Then she was on her way to look for another monster to beat, but Wazi tells her to stop and that this is all part of his master plan, and orders her to wait and see. After a while, they see the possessed stump has few mushroom growing around its body and was clearly taking damage and was weakened, so they attack it together, completely defeating it in one go. Now they manage to jump levels and kill the monster stronger than them. If they use this strategy, they can kill all the possessed stump that they meet, and before they could leave he asks Piggy to wait, as he sits on the stump to absorb it. Hit that like button and thanks for watching.